due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the CE Podcast Show. It's your girl, Queen SG, and we're back today with another fire topic. We're going to discuss distancing yourself from negative people. I know I personally don't have time for that. You know, and the real ones who's listening to this podcast, I know y'all ain't got time for this either. All these negativity. And we're going to jump into it, what I mean by negativity. But before I jump into it, we're going to have a quick word from our sponsors. You may not be a member of a royal family, but you sure feel like you should be. SG Dynasty. SG Dynasty is a new fun, hip, and trendy fashion clothing and accessory brand for the queens and kings of the world. No matter your age, this brand represents the royalty in all of us. They are a fashion and style brand that carries stylish clothes, accessories, home essentials, beauty and hair care products, and so much more. Feeling like royalty is not just a state of mind, it's how you look and how you feel. Catering to the king and queens of the world sgdynasty.com also follow them on instagram at sgdynasty inc check out their awesome styles right now sgdynasty.com because you deserve the best all righty guys so that was a quick word from our sponsor you know you can check out that sg dynasty get your swag on We do have a few more other sponsors. You know, I like to give a quick little shout out. We got the Fab Fitness for Sophisticated Vixens. If you want to get that good body, that great fitness, get your body right for the spring and the summertime, you can head over. Fab Fitness for Sophisticated Vixens. You can go to their Facebook page. You got Facebook slash FF4SB. Or you can just follow them on Instagram, Fat Fitness, the Sophisticated Vixen. Their name on there is going to be exactly that, Fat Fitness, for Sophisticated Vixen. You go there, get your body right. We also do have KOF Pet Shop. That stands for Kids of Fur. So for all your fur parents out there, got your cute little dog or cat or even a bird, head over there to kidsoffur.com. You get hooked up there. So, since I got all them sponsors out the way, we gonna jump right into it and talk about these negative folks and the types you should look out for to distance yourself from. You got various types. You got the ones, the folks that, you know, you can come with good news or positive news. You know, come around them. Or shoot, it can even be on the phone. Situations on the phone. You're just engaging with these type of individuals. Every time you talk to them, it's always negativity. There's never positivity that they're talking about. There's always something bad going on. Or you can even be around them. Every time you're around them, something bad happens. Some type of drama or anything just ensues. That's the type of person you need to, like, center yourself away from. If negativity is always following them, or it's always drama, and you're a drama-free person, and you're noticing that, okay, something not adding up. If it quack like a duck, walk like a duck, look like a duck, I mean, hey, it's a duck. That's what I say. So you get those folks. You can just be like, hey, how you doing? Every time you talk to them, it's negative negative speech and it's it's things that you can fix too problems easily you can fix or it's baby baby daddy baby mama drama type stuff or it's just something negative some type of drama things that can easily be fixed they're never talking about nothing positive never ever all negative yeah you may need to move side and give that person a break let them get their life together let them be on that page for their positive especially if you try to talk to them and try to give them some type of positivity and it's just still always negativity oh you wasting your breath with that one you might as well just just let them do them you know or you got another type of form of negativity you know, it come from just random acquaintances. They could come from, you know, families or friends. You have something good, positive going on. 
you know, yeah, let them know what you got good going on. And there's always some negativity. It's, it's not more of a, you know, a sincere, like, oh, I'm happy for you. Nine times out of ten, you know, you're going to see the ones who really happy for you. It's going to be a genuine, sincere reaction. You know, because you even get those ones, but like, oh, that's nice. But just the look on her face and everything is like, nah, you not happy for me. <laughs> I'm sensing the negative vibe. You know, or you got the ones that just blunt with it. They just, oh, if I'm starting a business, for example, you say that I'm starting a business. Oh, well, you think that's going to work out? And this, that, and the third is doubt instead of just being on your team. You know, those are negative, you know, things that you need to just look out for. People doing that, oh. No people don't need to be in your circle. What what purpose does they serve? Because every time you engage with these people, I know me personally, and I know y'all can feel me out there. Y'all engage with these folks, they have you feeling drained, like, and you be like, dang, all I asked was, how are you doing? How are you doing? And just by the fact of asking that, you and got pulled in this, that, and the third. And now your head messed up and you could have started off all positive. Now you just got all them negative thoughts in your head. And I know with me, I used to be a real bad one with it. I could be positive. That's all it takes. Like a family member or friend, they'll be up there, you know, tell me something that's going on. I want to ride for them as a friend. Now I'm feeling negative. I'm feeling all that heat, you know. And I had to just realize, like, you know, this is pointless. Especially if the problem never goes anywhere. You didn't got riled up, they riled up, everybody riled up. But the problem is still there at the end of the day. Gonna still be there. The initial thing that was all riled up about, oh, they dealing with it, it's cool. You be like, well, what did I get all riled up for? And that was me caring, but at the same time, you're not protecting yourself to be able to look. Your emotion is, is blocking it pretty much be able to look but like you know what this person is bringing negativity or they're just drama full you know and you'll see it you'll see the, the just the negativity coming or then even the situations where you're doing great you stare to yourself things is popping you know you get you got a good job got a new car whatever's going on positive for you and you'll get certain people who ain't been in your life they come around you have those group of people who come around the negative vultures that's what I call them negative vultures they ain't gotta talk to you for years or anything but oh they want something for you <laughs> they want something for me and a lot of times it be your own family your own flesh and blood they want something from you those individuals I ain't got time for I don't even associate with people like that no, if I ain't been messing with you, I ain't been rocking with you, it's a valid reason, and nine times out of ten, it's because that person was negative, or just a negative spirit with that person. I'm personally more about love and joy and everything, you know, and you even having a heart and giving those type of folks time a day, or trying to be helpful, oh, it bites you, yeah. You just gotta live and you learn. And you just realize who you want in your circle, who you can trust. If you guys are anything like me, oh, you want positive people around you. Good, genuine people. And like I said, and it's not about blood. They say blood is thicker than water. No, that's not all, always the case. I know individuals out there who have families who are just completely all messed up. Do them all type 30. And they got to just distance themselves from them type of folks. But when you're doing good and doing great, oh, they come out the woodwork like roaches. It's crazy. It's sad. Especially in these days of time. So I will tell you individuals, if you're dealing with that, if you're trying to keep positive, worry about you and keep that positivity don't let nobody take your joy don't let nobody come in just with the negativity if it's somebody even if it's a friend if they talking that negativity and you see it's dampering with your mood 
be like, honey child, I have to talk to you later. I'll call you back. Let them deal with that, especially if it's a repeat cycle. For those individuals who just negative, they don't want you to succeed, don't talk to them. Don't, don't go around that negativity. What's the point? For those fake family members and friends who want to come around with something good going great for you, they want something, oh, distance yourself from those too. Because I tell you, once you let those folks in, you give them an opportunity, oh, it's going to affect you and it's going to be more in a negative way, not positivity. Everyone who's listening to this channel and me, we all aiming for positivity. We all aiming for growth. We're not aiming for the negative, the drama. If everybody want that, they can go go watch VH1 or something. Just go watch drama film stuff. But here, here at Camp CE, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And I want y'all to realize that. It's not worth it. No people listening to this right now going through this. They're going to feel that. Going through it, you feel like I got to have a heart. It's family. It's blood. Yeah, that's my friend for this. No. No. If they negative and they not caring about you being positive, they're not trying to change their life. They're obviously trying to use you in some type of way. Open up your eyes. Realize. Realize what's good for you. Realize when someone is just trying to come and take your positive joy. Open up your eyes and see what a negative person is right in your view. Don't put labels on it. Oh, that's my family member. They'll never do it. That's my friend. They'll never do it. Oh, that's my acquaintance. Oh, we go way back. They'll never do it. No. If there's anything we didn't realize in this world, 2020, anything is possible. But some things you can avoid if you just open up your eyes and realize. Make up your mind. I want to be positive. I want to succeed. I got goals. I'm going to focus on me and do this. And like I said, help those who need it. Give your energy to those who need it. But open up your eyes and see when it's just a negative person trying to suck up your positive energy because they're negative and they want you to be negative. It all ends up in negativity. So I just want you guys to open up your eyes. You know, stay good, stay well, stay healthy. You know, stay away from that negativity. Those negative folks just keep your eyes and your head on the swivel form because they're out here. And a lot of times they closer than what you even think. They right there, right by your side. They're like, they just cool. Well, why never? They stand the third. No. Watch out for them. Keep your circle tight. Make sure it's full of positivity. You know, and before I get up out of here, you know, for you guys who haven't completely joined the family, you know, you listen to the podcast. But, you know, you got to follow me on my other social forms of media. And uh, you got the Twitter, Continental ESPI. Plug that in. You can join the Twitter family. And you can follow me on Instagram. So, got like official. You know, send me some DMs. Say what's up. You know, introduce yourself. Let me know where you came from. If you came from the podcast or even the YouTube. And if you guys haven't joined the YouTube family, be sure today. Go there, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. All you got to do, go to YouTube, look up Continental Espionage. We do everything on there. You know, you would check out, see the, you know, the latest podcast. And if you guys even have any suggestions on things you guys want me to talk about, too. You know, you can send that to me. You can send me an email to ContinentalEspionage1 at gmail.com. I love to chat with you, hear more about you, and hear y'all thoughts, you know, what y'all want to, you know, hear about, you know, because that's the reason why I do this podcast. I want to help people. I want to motivate people. 
So definitely shoot me an email. Join the family on all those social forms and media. You know, and um, I'm going to jump on here. I'm going to talk to y'all in a few. Y'all stay up.